Good evening, everyone. Uh, we are Team Nine. Uh, my team members are Tina, Marielle, and myself, Smita. And our project is Health Alert. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, let me tell you about our idea and uh, take you all through how we came with this. Uh, so basically, we all are happy to have vaccine found for COVID-19. And uh, currently, the distribution of the vaccine is monitored. And hence, tracking the side effect is easier. But in near future, when the vaccine gets uh, distributed amongst the masses, uh, we could come across various new side effects along with the existing one. And tracking and analyzing these effects will have a delay. So this is the challenge that our idea is on. Uh, next slide, please. So our prototype can be envisioned in the form of website or an app, uh, which would leverage the real-time information from the social networking site. Uh, with the help of machine learning and NLP, we wish to provide insights on this rapidly developing data. The insight would include like type, severity, count of side effects, etc observed across various location. Uh, we would also have filter options to tailor the insights user want to see. Next slide, please. Our target customers are comprised of two main categories. First being health organization, which include research organizations who can use this insight in order to build solutions uh, to tackle these side effects. Hospitals can use these insights to arrange the logistic uh, second category of target customers are the common people, the ones who have taken the vaccine, the one who are yet to receive it, and the people who are facing these side effects. Uh, the next slide will be explained by Tina. So now I'm going to talk about the data exploration with the statistic for the whole data set. So this data set can be divided into three languages and more than 80% of the text content is in English. So when we look at the source type, uh, there are 60% of source come from the Twitter and 20% from news and 10% from blogs. For our analysis, we will be considering information present only in English. Next slide. So we analyze how those data are distributed across the world and then look at the population. A lot of countries only have a single data and most of the source come from the United States and Great Britain and India. However, we found out that around 4,700 data have a non-value in the attribute of country. Next. Next slide. Yeah, so we can see <laughs> so we can see the change between the work across the different source that help us to understand the severity using term frequency. And from those source type, we also noted that people are more concerned about the COVID-19 vaccines. Yeah, next. Okay, so we wanted to see um, how tone was distributed throughout different locations so that we could build a profile of words that are associated to certain topics. In this case, we, we could use this to distinguish what words are associated with the COVID-19 vaccine side effects. Um, we noticed that neutral tones are consistent throughout the locations that we picked and India has the most positive um, tone as compared to Great Britain and US. So we wanted to see the common terms that are used for each tone. That's why we made a word cloud for each tone here. Um, so we wanted to be able to, we want to be able to use term frequency so that we can measure the severity of a side effect. Um, so side effects can also be tracked based on location. And then we can create a profile of how the side effects vary by location and demographics. So we also wanted to see how information was shared throughout and um, we wanted to see like what types of information is shared based on tone. Um, so the links that you see here, 
the number means um, that's like how many times it was reshared. And the yellow links are the ones that don't work anymore. So it's important to be able to check the credibility of these sources in order to avoid bias in our model. Um, so we want to be able to use um, natural language process so that it can help us build a portfolio of words that are associated to the severity of certain side effects and that so that we can also build a profile for each demographic and how these side effects affect each person. Um, and we also want to find a way to verify our sources to prevent the spread of misinformation. And once we can do both of those, then we're able to build our AI model so that we're able to use this information to be able to predict how to detect urgency so that we can provide the help that uh, that is needed. And that's all we have for our presentation. Thank you.